folks, we're back. We're talking about Borat. <laughs> <laughs> just, we just don't talk about whatever we're, we just don't say what we're talking about. It's just yeah, you had to watch the first episode in order to know. You gotta be in the know to know, you know. Okay, now how do I get up there? I see the my funky flip. Okay, I just blew the box. As Funky Kong does. Oh, I fell into a hole. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. I did not. I didn't even know it was out yet. I haven't even seen the original Borat. Okay, there we go. I knew it was out because there was stuff about Giuliani. Oh yeah. Being himself, I guess. Uh, oh! <laughs> what, what did he do to the monkey? Uh, it's the official Kazakhstan uh, monkey. Oh. <laughs> Just like the ca- Must be delivered as a gift to Trump in his inner circle. Just like the famous California dinosaur. The Los Angeles dinosaur. <laughs> the famous Los Angeles dinosaur! Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I can- I can punch the ceiling! Just what I've always wanted! The, uh, oh my gosh, the polar bear in specific reminds me of a specific polar bear, but I cannot remember who it is or what it's from. It's definitely Norm of the North. It is not Norm of the North! <laughs> we do not speak of Norm of the North. <laughs> Mike, there's two movies you don't speak of on this channel. Cowboys vs. Dinosaurs and Norm of the North! <laughs> No, I know where it's from. It's, it's from, uh, Bob. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Hoodwinked. Oh wait! Oh my god, that movie! I haven't seen that in forever. I actually watched it my first semester at college because I was like, you know, I remember this movie. Was it any good? Uh, no. Oh no, it was. <laughs> I and I enjoyed it. Huh? It had like an all-star <laughs> cast. You had, you had, uh, Patrick Warburton and, uh, Jim Belushi. Wait, who was Patrick Warburton? Who was he? He was the wolf. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And you can, like, really hear it. I know Anne Hathaway was, uh, the Little Red Riding Hood. That's the name. And, like, the granny was also someone famous. It was, like, uh, Glenn something. Glenn Close! That's who it was. She also played Cruella DeVille. Personally prefer the work of Glenn Farr, but that's just me. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I get that a lot. She, uh, she too has done some pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the, 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 the more detective guy. That was the Anthony, Anthony Anderson. That was the guy from, uh, who was a star in Blackish. I did not know that, actually. <laughs> you learn something new every day. How about Hoodwinked of all things? Yeah, I was, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I had a bit of a name confusion recently when my family and I were watching Klaus. I, uh, mistook Joan Cusack for Joan Rivers. I have not seen Klaus, so... It is a very- do you have do you have Netflix? Uh, technically, yes. Uh, then yeah, it's, it's on Netflix. It is an amazing Christmas movie. I've heard good things about it. It is- I- I can personally attest to this. It is an- it is an amazing- Beautiful movie. Is it one of those like Pixar they make you cry? Yes, but it's it it's got such a unique style. It's not it's not CGI, but it like it 
everything looks so smooth that it looks like it could be CGI. It's just very, very smooth animation. Oh, it looks yeah. beautiful. Like, honestly, one of the best-looking movies I've seen in recent years. I'll have to check that out, then. Definitely. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, did you know Disney released, like, a bunch of animated movies and, like, Marvel stuff? What? Yeah, the... Was it yesterday? It was, like, besides Game Awards, it was, like, Investor's Day, and then Disney just dropped a bunch of, like, new titles and Marvel stuff and Star Wars stuff. Really? Like, what? Well, for Disney, the animated movies, uh, there was, like, one where it looks like, uh... Really? I'm not that yet. I am, but it is happening. But we have an entire show dedicated to that. Oh, oh wait, there's that animated series. Yeah, oh, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Yeah. I used to watch that all, all the time as a kid. Love that. I the know Tiana is getting her own series, I think. Really? Huh, interesting. I'd be down to see that. Uh, they came up with, like, I think there's this other one where I think a girl, like, I'm not sure if she becomes a red panda or something. I don't know. They have, like, a, you should check them out, like, all the stuff that came out. Becomes a red panda? Kind of like Wolf Walkers? Um, I think, I didn't see this enough. I just saw the title card, so that's why I can surmise that might be completely wrong. Huh. Becomes a red panda. What was that, Chris? <laughs> Don't we all, Chris? Does that make you furry? Uh. No, I just want to live a simpler life. I don't have to say much. Don't we all, Chris? <laughs> it's like the, I've seen this meme where it's like, uh. It's like you wake up as you wake up as a lizard on a on a sunning on a rock. Suddenly, all thoughts of uh, all thoughts of uh, home loans and furries leave your mind. You as you lick your eyes to moisten them. That's wild. That is wild. And I'm like I can relate to this. Ziggy can relate to this. Ziggy is this. Ziggy, this is Ziggy. Though she actually has eyelids, so. <laughs> Do with that as you will. We'll do a grand total of nothing. Yeah, but with that information, you would you you wouldn't do anything with that information? No. Wow. I feel it's best kept. Uh... Well, now I feel like I've wasted this opportunity. <gasps> I'm sorry. You've wasted the I'm opportunity to become lizard. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, and there I go. I'm not sure if the jump arc in this is feeling weird or if I just have to get used to it again because there's a lot. This it, he doesn't really have much of like a long, oh like a really tall jump. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe Funky Kong's just too funky for you. Maybe. Well, <laughs> it was too wubulous for my Wii. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have heard of the. Wobulous world of Dr. Seuss, have you not? I believe so. It's like a puppet, it was a puppet based Dr. Seuss show? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and there I go! <laughs> Note to self, you are not invincible as, as Funky Kong. You're pretty damn close, but you are not totally infallible. Not completely invincible. It's like your surfboard is invincible, isn't that right? Yeah, I think so. Let it be known, you are not Kevin James. <laughs> we'll never be Kevin James. We'll never be as unstoppable as Kevin James. He just he just can't be stopped. I'm already at a disadvantage in, in, uh, with my love life because I'm not Kevin James. <laughs> exactly, all of us have been have been fundamentally gimped as we are not Kevin James! <laughs> It would be that I'm not Kevin James. I mean, you saw him in Zookeeper. Did you? Did you guys see him in Zookeeper? Did I see that? 
a good movie. I haven't seen Zookeeper. It had uh, Kevin James and Rosario Dawson together at last. <laughs> Actually, speaking. So what was that? Hmm. I, I thought it's it's a pretty good movie. Not gonna lie. It had Adam Sandler voicing a monkey. I don't want to tell him. <laughs> Yeah, was... I, I think a lot of people hate on Adam Sandler, but there's some, there are like a few, 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 few select, select movies that he made that have been pretty good. I think he's a funny guy, it's just that he's been in a lot of not funny movies. Exactly. <laughs> like Jack and Jill. <laughs> oh my god, I actually saw that movie. <laughs> I too have seen it. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel like someone owes me something now. <laughs> Although, uh, speaking of Rosario Dawson, uh, do you guys see what happened with in the in the Mandalorian? In this newest episode? Not in the newest episode, but this is like, this is like a few weeks ago. A few weeks? Uh, one week? Was it last I week? I every episode except the one that dropped today. I, you, you have, Mike? She did. Recently. She did. They're also making a spin-off series about her. Really? Yeah. I am They're all for. I am all for that. They're releasing like 50 Star Wars things, like 50 different shows. Really? And now can they have one called like Acolyte, one called like. Oh, so Acolyte was real. Yeah. I did not know that. That's yeah. that's awesome. They're doing an Obi Wan series. I know. Um, I knew about that one. I'm just, the, I'm just uh, glad. Uh, is, is Ewan McGregor still involved? Yeah, and Hayden. Well, my concern is Hayden Christensen after Revenge of the Sith, like 10 years after, and Hayden Christensen will be Darth Vader. What? <laughs> yeah. But, but that doesn't make sense. Because in the, uh, in, in friggin' Revenge of the Sith, when he becomes Darth Vader. Okay, when he became Darth Vader, he, he when he got the armor, his, his voice was already different. Well, it's like, it's ten years after, I'm assuming, so I think they're gonna try to do something between that and A New Hope, but the problem is, it's like, we meet again for, for the last time, it's not gonna be as epic, because, like, no, we met a couple weeks ago, don't you? Yeah. And we had coffee, okay. Yeah, though I did see something about, like, have you guys seen The Clone Wars? You guys seen the new stuff? I've seen the final no, scene. I seen the new stuff. Do you care about spoilers, Chris? I don't go for it. Okay, so the uh, at the end of it, Ahsoka loses one of her lightsabers, and and Darth Vader finds it, and essentially with like with Anakin's teachings, he essentially like really pushed home the idea that your lightsaber is your life. So when so it, and when he found it in the wreckage of this ship, he assumed she was dead. But Ahsoka has two lightsabers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he later finds out that she's not in Rebels anyway. Yes. Yeah. Which they supposedly duel to the death, but then she pops up in the Mandalorian. So I guess she survived. <laughs> I thought that was, like, before the original trilogy. Yeah, it was. Before. Uh, no, it, no, it was after the original, it was after the original trilogy and before The Force Awakens. Are you talking about Mando or are you talking about Rebels? Mando. Okay, but yeah, Rebels, what... before the newest trilogy. Um, yeah, yeah, I know... If he fights Darth Vader, it has to be before. Damn it, I'm lying. Yeah, but yeah, where... Thanks. Okay, where does Rebels fit, though? Okay, I thought so. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so she does survive her spat with Vader. Yeah. Okay. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> yes. My, my boy Grogu. <laughs> 
is Willie. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? I'm doing it. I swear, I hate the, I hate how, t like, Twitter spo and iFunny spoils everything for me. Because like they they friggin' spoil Boba Fett, and the fact that it, and the fact that the ship blows up, and the fact that the, the kid got kidnapped. I'm like, what the heck, man? I just want to watch the show. Okay, so we are out of time. So we're going to talk more Grogu next time. <laughs>